Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we're gonna make a chive kimchi, better known as pa kimchi in Korean. Pa kimchi is the perfect side dish. You can eat it with just about anything. First, we need to clean the chives, so let's start by trimming the ends off the fresh chives. Pa kimchi doesn't have to be spicy. It all depends on what kind of red pepper flavors you buy. However, the origin can change the taste a bit, so I do recommend getting Korean red pepper flakes. Now we need to remove the outer layer of the chives. This part can be a little finicky. Just do your best. Give the chives one final rinse and check to see if there's any debris in between the individual chives. Try and keep all the ends together. It makes it a bit easier later on. Give them a good shake to get rid of the excess water. Now we're going to let the ends soak in some fish sauce for about 20 minutes. Add about half a cup of fish sauce. Don't worry, we're not going to use it all. It's just for soaking the ends. For the sauce, you need one tablespoon of rice flour and half a cup of water. In Korean, this is called pul or glue because it binds everything together. Over a medium-low heat, keep stirring until it thickens. It'll take about a minute. That looks just about ready, so set it aside and let it cool. While the rice mix is cooling, let's start with the other ingredients. Use six to seven cloves of garlic or more if you like, and half a thumb size of ginger. Grate or finely dice a half thumb size piece of ginger. This is plum syrup. It's very common in Korean cooking, but it is very sweet. It adds a nice little flavor, but you can just replace it with a teaspoon of sugar. Take a quarter cup of the fish sauce from the bowl where your chives were soaking. Add half a cup of red chili flakes. This might look like a lot, but they're not very spicy. These ones are mild. Add in your rice flour mix and mix everything up together. your chives in a suitable container. You can throw away the additional fish sauce they were soaking in. I recommend wearing gloves for this part. If you're very sensitive, the red chili flakes can make your hands hurt. Start by working the paste into the white parts of the chives and then gradually spreading it up towards the tops of the greens.
Now that you've covered all the chives in the sauce, you can transfer them into a storage container where they can begin to ferment. Use a little bit of water, maybe a tablespoon, just to get the rest of the red pepper flakes. Then pour the mix over the chives. Pa kimchi keeps for at least two months, and you'll notice it changes over its fermentation period. To jumpstart the fermentation process, I usually leave it on my counter overnight, and then pop it in the fridge the next day. To eat the par, cut it up into quarters or eighths before serving. If you have any questions, put them in the comments section. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching!